Welcome back to the C Morning Show on SNC Today. Today, we've been surrounded by pretty people, and now we're surrounded by pretty things. Yay! A bouquet of flowers can warm our hearts, and it is a symbol of love and sincere gifts. But unfortunately, fresh flowers, as we know, can wilt very easily. Yes, and to make your bouquet last longer, there is a craft of preserving flowers using resin. Now, to make them more beautiful and last longer, for sure. Joining us this morning, Nofia Putri Wijasana from on studio will teach us to make a preserved flowers using resin. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, okay. Good morning. So good to have you here. Yes, yeah, and thank you, you brought for all these beautiful this flowers. Oh. Wow. Okay. From the front, it looks amazing. <laughs> From above, you see that it's all like real flowers. Yeah. Wow. It's all preserved flowers. Preserved flowers. So the bride, the bride will give the flowers to us, mm -hmm. and then we will preserve them into oh. any products we want. Oh, so this which, is from a wedding. So yeah. this is from a wedding bouquet. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. Beautiful. So tell me, um, when did you start making this preserved flower? Uh, so Hon Studio first started in the when the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, I, I, I studied to learn resin art when we have a lot of spare time from yeah, yeah mm -hmm, during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, we started Hon Studio, the Instagram account, just for sharing like what. Uh, what we have made, the products, mm -hmm. like, uh, but actually we first, we didn't first started on making preserved flowers. Mm. Uh, we started with some crystal fans, uh, they, they wanted us to make some crystal inspired things, mm -hmm. like crystal paintings or even like home products uh, for decorations, mm -hmm. and also some calligraphers, uh, calligraphy enthusiasts who wanted us to make those small agate slices because uh, it's very expensive. Yeah, yeah, those yeah, agate yeah. slices are very expensive. And then they wanted us to make uh, for um, wedding name tags. Yeah. Only after that, because my mom is a florist, so she oh. has a lot of spare <laughs> flowers yeah. for me to try. And after I experimented, uh, I just fall in love with it because uh, flower preservation, especially for brides, mm -hmm. is very personal. Yes, yeah. of course. Because of course. It, yes. I like the idea of freezing your memories oh. into something. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> and resin has the ability to freeze a lot of different things. A lot of different just, things, not just flowers. <laughs> Now, how did you, while you were going through this journey of learning, mm -hmm. how did you find the right techniques for your craft? You did say you experimented, and how did you find that it was possible to do this, even with 3D, not just with flattened flowers? Um, actually, back again, trial and error is my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> because it's very hard to find uh, teachers that specialize in resin art, especially in Indonesia, because mm -hmm. at that time, it just started mm -hmm. in Indonesia and nobody have made um, preserved flowers and resin okay. because our resin here is doesn't cater for flowers. Oh. So it's very hard. We need to oh. import them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I this see. is a different kind of resin than mm. what we usually find in Indonesia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you start teaching us what we're yeah, going to sure. do? What I we're going to make try today? To do it. Okay, so we have here, This is, is this the resin? Yeah, okay. So to make, first we're going to need Gloves. Gloves. <laughs> you need to be safe. safe. Yeah, because it is chemicals and yeah. we have to handle it very, mm. very carefully. That's right. Okay, for today's demo, we've prepared uh, to make like small oval trays. Uh, this is also a favorite for the brides because it's very easy to move around the house. Uh huh. Yeah. It's not too big. So, this is uh, the example. After they dry, you can unmold them. This is like this. Part. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. So we wow. move them. And oh, it becomes nice. something like this. Then you just need to clear out yeah. the... Maybe if you want to try and open. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So the mold is um, rubber. It's made out of rubber. Silicone? Or Silicone or like... Yeah, the mold is... Wow. <laughs> this is indeed satisfying. <laughs> This is satisfying, is but also very <laughs> untidy to make this kind of art oh, things. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's okay. So, what oh. are we going to make? Oh, is that the dried flowers? Yep. Yay! So I press some. Here go number already. two. Pretty that is our kit, and we have some have? sakura blossoms. Oh, sakura. sakura season. Cherry blossoms. It is the sakura season right now. <laughs> it's and April, right? Almost. 
and then hydrangeas. What is this? Okay. Uh, this one's actually we bought them because it's our stock, but this one is a real one, and then we pressed it from real uh, import orchids. But these ones are not pressed, right? No, these ones are 3D. So there is a few techniques on actually preserving the flowers. It's it's based on what you want to make. If we make this mini trays, it's easier for us to use the pressed what? flower because uh, they pour nicely, lah. Oh. Yeah, this so can one. Can I have silly. the lily? Yeah, sure. Yay. This one are calla lilies. So this one uh, we use to we we put them inside chemicals to preserve the 3D shape. Mm -hmm. uh, this so one, these are not just dry, but there is also chemical. Yeah, so from the chemicals, they become dry. Oh, because if okay. we put them in a not dry, if they're not dry inside the resin, they will still uh, rot in some way. Oh, uh, they have to completely dry. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we have to completely dehydrate it. Okay, oh, so we have to assemble it first. Yeah. <laughs> This one is actually I'm just out for it's okay. Uh, uh, this one is for a bigger piece, but okay. so today we want to make the, no. the flat one. If this one it wouldn't dry oh, okay. uh, as fast as this one. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, right, right. Behind the scenes, you told me that it takes a while okay, to I'm finish gonna, one product. How long does it, fin it take it to finish one of these? Let's say this, these are, this is the one that we make. You told me that you need to do layers upon layers. You can't mm. do everything all at once. For this one, maybe around two days because uh, after this, we're going to have one layer at front and mm -hmm. then we put the flowers. Then only after they cure around 12 hours, mm -hmm. we can put another layer. After that, only then we can unmold it like that and then <coughs> you, uh, and then tidy up the edges yeah. using uh, the sanding paper. Sanding. Oh, sanding mm. paper All right. is so we have to do it um, upside down or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs to be like this way. Oh, that way. Also, okay. Uh, so, if you guys want to start, it's okay too. Okay. So, did okay. you say that we need to pour one layer of resin first before the flowers, or the flower first and then the resin? Usually, usually for uh, beginners, they will uh, tidy up uh, like what's the layout first. Mm -hmm. Layout and, first. But we can just uh, Lay pour out. the, the Lay layout bra. The resin. Can I can I open this one? It? Yeah, sure, sure. All right. Okay, maybe while you guys think about the design, I'm gonna. Yes. <laughs> okay. She's gonna the resin. <laughs> We're gonna prepare the resin. Okay. Okay. So there's uh, um. I think I'm. A few types of resin. The <coughs> resin we're using today have. Also, the the different types of resin, uh, sometimes differ in because of the ra ratios. Because okay. resin, there is two parts of in in resin. There is two parts. The first one is hardener, and the second part is the resin. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So we need to mix them together, mm -hmm. and only after that the curing process will start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this type of resin is two by one. Two so by one. So maybe sixty of this and thirty of this. Okay. Very hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can do it. Got I can it? do it. I can do it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. okay. I want to be very careful because it's very thin. Very thin. Very Delicate. pretty. Very. Okay. Okay. So, okay. You go ahead. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm just going to open this. Um, okay, so we need to handle very, very carefully. Now, Anofia, can you tell us what are the challenges for beginner um, in oh. trying to do this? Okay, so the challenges as a beginner for me at start is Sticky. to actually uh, find out more about the safety precautions. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because I first started uh, without knowing anything. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's also it's very it's pretty hard to find information on resin art in Indonesia, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I first started without using any mask or anything or any safety appliances, okay. and then uh, I start to suffocate a bit. Oh <laughs> really? no! Yeah, because back again we're using chemicals at the curing process, right? They're mm -hmm. gonna omit like some fumes and vapors that yeah. we can't yeah. smell, so it's very easy to feel safe. Yeah. Uh, but only after some time and regular use, you're gonna uh, we're gonna feel a bit 
Okay, Hi. Facts. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so I'm trying to do this. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm just trying to make it pretty. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> You're done? Yeah, because I just wanted one big and a couple of little ones. Because you want the little ones, right? I want the little ones. I love the little ones. Little, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this, this is... So what is the ratio? Uh, so it's this is pretty two by hard. one. Mm -hmm. So before it's 180. <laughs> now I add another uh, 690. Uh, so it's 270. Uh, okay. So you've mentioned um, what we're doing today may take two days to actually finish. <laughs> Um, do you have any suggestions for someone who wants to start uh, learning or um, perhaps making a crafting business like Han Studio? Mm. In any craft. Oh, in any craft. Yeah. If it's a uh, resin base, if it's resin yeah, base, specifically right. resin base, I would suggest to invest time on finding out the safety tools, the right. Uh, like invest invest your money on buying the right safety tools because there's a lot of um, not standardized ones oh. um, and maybe your time on finding out more information because we we'll use a lot after this I can explain actually mm -hmm. and also um, just for business based like craft craft business uh, really find an art form that you love you mm -hmm. know because it's not easy to find it personally for me it's not easy yeah <laughs> because uh, sometimes in the craft business it's a bit uh, sometimes people don't really uh, fully appreciate yeah like, the time that we pour yeah. inside the products but if you love it in the end you're you're still gonna when you have a burnout you're still gonna churn out those creative yeah. ideas. yeah 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 I know because this is like your creative outlet, right? Yeah. <laughs> to express yourself. So at least when I when I'm having burnout, I'm like, okay, at least I, I like what I do. I love it. I love it. Seriously, I love it. <laughs> really. That's yeah. good word to say it to yourself. That's important. Yeah, say it to yourself. <laughs> That's so important. Okay. You wanna try mixing it together? Yes, of course. Mm. This is like oh yeah, it's like papeda. <laughs> But don't eat it, guys. Uh, don't eat it. So, yeah. <laughs> Just to context, um, what is... Papeda is tapioca, yeah? Yeah. So you can... Tapioca the... jelly, you can just straight so away. So how long do, I, do, do we need to do this? Um, until the bubbles, uh, you know, like, until the mixture, they mix nicely together. I would say it's like the consistency of... Um, when you know you make iced tea, like oh, sweet okay. iced tea, mm -hmm. then you have the sugar mm -hmm. on the bottom. Mm -hmm. When you mix it together, you have those lines, right? You have those lines mm -hmm. and yeah, just wait until the lines dissolve and bubbly and oh. you can use it already. So the more bubble, the merrier? Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is gonna be my workout for <laughs> the day. Yep. How long does it usually take for the mixing to turn out right? Mm, usually two, three minutes. Two minutes. Two, three minutes. Yeah. One more minute ago. It's a I, 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 I'm already tired. You wanna switch? <laughs> switch labor? <laughs> Yes, please. Okay. Especially if you mix out, you know, like liters. Because the, the, the bigger ones, right, yeah. for the tables, like those tabletops, they take a lot of the restaurants, right? We use like these big Oh, jugs. okay. What happens if you, you, have to if you pour the rest in and then it's not enough? We mix another one. <laughs> okay, but, but it's okay. Yeah, so as, long, there. as long as our ratios are correct, they huh? will cure nicely. Oh. Yeah, because if we don't calculate right, we need the, these kind of grams. Um, oh, yeah. I thought it was like baking a, baking a cake. You can, you know, undo it. <laughs> no. Here you go. Okay. Is, is this it? okay? Oh. Yeah. okay? Is this so enough? We're gonna the have bubbles. The first layer in. This is your design, right? Yeah. And we can just move it here later. So this is the first layer. Oh, These have a lot of bubbles, right? Yeah. And After you... we wait for a while, the bubbles will uh, rise, rise up, and oh. then uh, we can use. Usually, I'll use a big uh, heat gun for this process, but because um, 
we didn't bring it today because it's a small tray, right? Okay. Because the, the heat gun I have is very big. And if we use it here, it's gonna be very noisy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Then it's okay. Maybe we'll just wait for it for a while. Oh, until okay. the bubbles disappear. I was gonna put it in. <laughs> wait, be patient. Wait for a while. How long do we have to wait? Maybe around one minute ish, Ken? Okay. Uh, now, what happened if something, some ant. part. Is that an ant? I think it's an ant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you can pick it up. It up. You yeah. will preserve the ant with. <laughs> yeah, you have the ant it's forever. It's the mother nature. <laughs> it's the mother nature. <laughs> okay, so we have to wait for another minute. Don't need to find it up. It's okay. Oh really? It's fine. Yeah. Oh, I thought. So what's the difference between using a heat gun and just naturally dry it? Yeah, it's gonna take longer. Because oh. usually heat guns they have like those popping kind of things. Mm -hmm. So once you swipe it. Because uh, because the air uh, when it heated when it's heated up it's gonna pop easier because they get uh, bigger right yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. okay but it's okay if you wanna put it later it's gonna pop and then later at my workshop I'll finish it up oh okay. uh, we still have to wait okay so we can just yeah pop it can in? put it in mm. okay up okay. Oh. okay I forgot <laughs> you need ah. <laughs> I just throw it in. Throw it in, bruh. Throw it in, bruh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> ah. okay. I have to do it upside down. You're enjoying it? I am. As for like the safety tools you we usually use. Mm -hmm. as, yeah, first gloves. Uh, and if we're at home, right? Make sure to wear the like wear and tear clothes, like ready to wear and tear. Oh. <laughs> because once it got to your clothes, right, it, it won't come off. Like I oh. tried everything. <laughs> okay, so and you again, it will ruin our clothes. You've had some accidents. Yeah, with of course. <laughs> okay. And the most important thing is this thing. What is that? This is a resp uh, respirator. So okay. it's different from our usual mask. Uh, they filter out the fumes and the uh, mm. vapors that we can't see. Okay. Up, oh, up. Oh, I think I dropped some. So do we push it in or we just leave it like this? Yeah. So this is the first one. We can leave it like this. Then mm -hmm. after that, only the second layer when it's dry. Oh. Yeah. So it covers the whole thing. So that's why it takes two days. So one layer yeah. takes 24 hours. Yeah, basically. Okay. So ah. you just let it... It's different for some types of resin, but for this type, it's around that. Okay. So this is the... Because you just mentioned this is different type. Why do you need this specific one? Does this specific one, um, you know, dry clear or... Yeah. Because there are different kinds of resin. There are resins that are a bit more colorful, a bit more brown. Uh, for colors, usually we add pigments. Oh, yeah. okay. but for, the for resin, they're usually transparent. Yeah, uh, some are duller than others uh, because uh, yeah, some are cheaper and some are more expensive. Okay. But for the resins we use in preserved flowers, it's like more a more higher quality because they are first more clearer. Yeah. So when we pour, it's not like this many bubbles. But see, like the bubbles are already rising up. Yeah. Okay. And they they stand better to UV rays. So, oh. yeah, so they won't discolor easily. Oh, like, they discolor. They, oh. Not discolor, it's like uh, yellowing. Yeah, yellow. ah, yellowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay. But still, I would urge uh, the clients to not put them in... Under direct sunlight. Under, yes, correct. <laughs> okay. Now, yes. can you tell us the price if we want to, you know, preserve our wedding bouquet, for example? Uh, actually, for price, it varies. Okay. Uh, maybe some start from... The cheapest one, I think, are five hundred. Okay. But you have a bouquet, a bouquet um, preservation fee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then oh, because you have to preserve yeah, the flowers. Yeah, because you have well. to preserve the yeah, flowers yeah. and chemicals, mm -hmm. and only after that we can put it inside the resin. Uh, so wow. let's say we make an order and it's for a bouquet. How long does it take for a bouquet to be finished? Because this one takes twenty four hours. <laughs> this one should take longer because we've got more. Yeah, so so yeah. it depends on the order. Usually, I'll. I'll Tell my clients around one month is the fastest. 
One month is yeah. the fastest. For bigger pieces, it will take maybe three months. That's your workout. That's yeah, my workout. It's, it's, it's very beautiful. Three right? kilos, I think. Three kilos? Yeah, yeah. Wow, and this you can turn beautiful. it into um, lamp as well. Yeah, yeah, look at this lamp. It's so Ooh. beautiful. Like, I would totally preserve my flowers <laughs> as a lamp. Thank Your you. wedding bouquet as a lamp. All right. Wow. Now, maybe this can be an idea for, you know, all the, the next present. brides out there. Oh, yeah. yeah, actually, one of Anniversary our... Anniversary present. Oh, yeah. One yeah. of our brides, uh, one of our bride's friends, the bridesmaid, they order the preservation, um, the flower preservation for their brides, for their friends. Oh, yeah. Aww. So like once once gift. the day is over, like, give the flowers. Aww, that's Aww, lovely. Because usually brides don't see the flowers anymore, Aww, right? Yeah. <laughs> After you've thrown them, yeah. you don't see the bouquets anymore. I didn't see mine anymore till the end of the day, which I regretted. <laughs> Had I known this, I totally would have preserved yeah. one or two letters. Just don't throw this. Yes, just don't <laughs> throw this. <laughs> but thank you, Novia, yeah, for you so you know, helping us to make this um, resin flower. I, uh, can you show us when it's finished? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you guys. Yay! Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Now, this can be um, an idea for you guys to, you know, give um, the gift for your friend, or maybe you can have um, you can have this also to preserve your wedding bouquet. Uh, we'll never know. Right. If anyone wants to contact you or Han Studios, where can they find you? Instagram. Instagram. Instagram.id. At okay. hanstudio.id. Mm. There you go. There you go. So, all right. Thank you so much. Now, let's take a break. We will have a recap from um, our previous segment. So, stay with us only on the C Morning Show.